Okay, so this lady has uh, some pain and something wrong with her pancreas, like it was a stricture or some atrophy or something. So we'll try and see what's going on. Okay, so there's her liver, looks good. Torquing. There's the vein sort of coming out, and she does have a, right away you can see a lesion right there. Okay. Uh, and then she's got, you know, her PD is probably, her pancreas above it, it looks kind of atrophic. The whole thing though, and I think that there's a bit of dilated duct in atrophic pancreas. So what you want to see here is this, is this like, does the whole pancreas look like this or is there really a transition zone? I suspect there's a serious transition zone. So we'll do a core biopsy with the Procore 20 for this. Uh, so I'm going to just to see if there's a transition zone. Uh, and by the way, this, her portal vein is sort of going right into that. I'm going to go into the bulb now and take a look from here. There we go. I'm going to go right into D2, actually. Come back. There we go. And then we'll see if the head looks... See, the, the head of the pancreas is, looks like normal pancreas. So that means what's going on at the genu there is totally abnormal. So as I come back, the papilla is just going to be here. You can see the air in D3. I pull up against the wall, and then I start looking, looking for where it gets dark. That's probably where the papilla is going to be and doing a bit left and right, looking for the ducts coming out of the papilla. Uh, I saw a little line there, so that's the PD coming out. Okay, so there's the PD, and then there's the bile duct next to it. Okay, so this is the, the head that looks fine. So as I come across the genu here, we're going to see the transition. We're going to start seeing this lesion. And you can see the, the SMV here, which sort of disappears into this lesion right here. And the lesion is right here. Okay. It's in case, yeah, it's right in the neck. It's kind of a genuine lesion. So there's, there, there is definitely a transition zone. It becomes totally abnormal right here. So when you biopsy again, you want to biopsy right where it becomes abnormal, which is going to be right here. But I think I'll get it better from the stomach. Okay, so there's the lesion again. So I want to go right where it starts, right around here. And, that's and you want to go where there's nothing dilated. You know, by definition, if you see a mass, you, you can't have anything dilated inside the mass. Whereas over here, above the mass, you know, if there's dilated duct and stuff, you see there's a little bit of duct there. That's not the mass. That's just obstructive pancreatitis. She also, no, there's nothing there. Okay. And I'm not really concerned about tumor seeding because the confluence is, is encased. Okay, so it's basically inoperable already. So it's not, it's not going to really change, change much, unfortunately, for her. Okay, so there's the needle right here. Okay, putting the elevator down a little bit. Put the needle in through the wall here. Through the wall, I'm in there, and then in we go. It goes in very nicely, it's nice and smooth action. Through again, I'm trying to go in multiple different places. There we go, so coming out, going somewhere else, and then I'm sort of coming back, going somewhere else, coming out, going somewhere else. So this should be enough for the first pass. Okay, so just gonna push this out, get this out of the way. So we're getting, we're getting a, a lot of blood, but presumably there's, there's tissue in there somewhere. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I do see some white sort of core tissue there. We'll do another one, just in case. And, and I just want to see, I think the splenic vein is, uh, is encased right there. So it's really got the confluence really close to the splenic vein. And does she have gastric varices? Uh, yeah, see, she's got early gastric varices. So she's also got um, early gastric varices due to splenic vein involvement. So if I follow the liver, you can see the vein coming out. Okay, there's a confluence. Here's the splenic vein in there, which is encased. Okay, I don't know if there's still any Doppler there, a little bit. And then if you go out to the, to the fundus, you can see there's uh, excess collaterals in the hilum, and she's got uh, these early gastric varices in the fundus right here, okay? Um, I, I also forgot to look at the aorta. There's aorta, I look at the celiac. 
There, there's the celiac coming out here, because if she has arterial involvement, she's definitely not operable. So the thing is, I look here, yeah, you know, and the bifurcation of the celiac, the celiac is bifurcating, but we're only seeing one of them, suggesting that she's got encasement of the celiac very close to the bifurcation. So she's really inoperable for, you know, the confluence and the celiac. So I'm going to take another, just another biopsy. Okay, so there's the lesion. Again, again, I want to go really where the lesion starts, again, where there's no dilated ducts or anything, because that's where the mass is. Torquing a little bit to get it into view again. You can see the needle up here. So we're in good uh, direction, so I'm going to push the needle in. There we go. In we go. We come out, go somewhere else. Come out, go somewhere else. There, there, and there. Maybe one more place. Okay, here's our sample coming out. Okay, there we go. And it looks like there's quite a lot of tissue there as well. And a little less blood this time, that's good. So it's, uh, I think this is definitely a, an adequate sample. So in summary, basically it's a, you know, malignant obstruction of the pancreatic duct by a genu mass that's encasing the confluence and the bifurcation of SM of the celiac. So it's really a, unfortunately inoperable. She's also got gastric varices. These are all things you got to check in these cases. She doesn't have any liver lesions that I saw, but uh, it's locally advanced uh, already. That's it.